All right, everybody. So I think we're live here. I just wanted to shoot a little bit of video of the mobile duck slash goose house that I put together this past weekend. So the top part of it is the old duck slash goose house that I built on a frame that a friend gave me that actually a grapple came in. And it was supposed to be a temporary solution. It sat around for a while. It had a plywood top. I, you may remember I changed that over to this tin um, earlier this spring, but I really wanted to make it mobile. And so I bought this trailer frame earlier this spring, kind of sat around, and finally I got around to it this weekend. So I wanted to show you a few of the modifications that I made to it. So obviously with it being up off the ground now, um, I had to build this ramp and the ducks and the geese still haven't quite figured out how to use this. The one, one duck I think did figure it out last night, but um, the, uh, the others, it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, but we had the same situation with the old duck house, which was either even higher up off the ground and eventually we got them to figure it out. So hopefully with time that will happen, but it certainly is a bit miserable. One of the other things that I changed here, I'm going to go ahead and go on in and, uh, Hey, Michael, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Um, we'll go ahead and hopefully we can do this without them running out. Um, keep them up that way but i made it so that i can actually open up let's see if i can do this here the sides so that we can easily so you can see it opens up here now and we can easily clean it out get eggs out of it in fact there's some eggs there in the back that need to be collected and uh so it'll be easier than trying to go in from the top which is what we did before but it's just kind of hard to get down in there. So going from the side is going to make it um, a lot easier. So, hey, Michael, we are in uh, Greenwich. So over near Saratoga Springs is where we're located. All right. So we'll close that back up, latch it. And uh, so that's another modification that we made here. And uh, we'll see how things work out. But uh, at least they're mobile. Now, this fence that I talked about in today's podcast, if you, want, if you listen to today's podcast, this is what I was talking about, the supports that are made out of that pressure-treated lumber. And you see how these feet go right through that fence. Well, that spike over there kind of gets in the way of being able to pull it back through, but I didn't drill the holes uh, big enough, so I can't get the spikes back out. So... Um, it is what it is. So when I go to move this, I have to move it with the posts attached or the other thing I could do, I guess, is cut maybe that foot off and then redrill the hole. And I don't know. I don't move it that often. So it is what it is. Really bad design on my part. I should have followed the instructions better, but that's not how I roll. So anyhow, I just wanted to share with you kind of, uh, how this is, uh, come to be and we'll see whether or not we like it but uh now the ducks and geese are mobile they're up there enjoying some weeds so seem to be enjoying it so anyhow all right catch you guys later thanks for stopping by